So for this look, you want to start off with either fresh hair or second day hair. Today I happen to have second day hair and you want to make sure the roots of your hair are a little damp with like water or leave-in conditioner or something because when you part your hair in really, really precise sections with this fine tooth comb, which you really want with it has a little stick on the end, which you're seeing what I'm doing is just separating my hair in sections and making sure my line is completely straight because for this look, it needs to be nice and sharp for the braid to come out nice. Then once you're done with parting your section, you want to part all your hair to one side and tie that off. Now when I'm sectioning off my hair, I'm just doing it in two inch sections and doing five um, or six braids. I forget how many I'm going to do. But when I braid, I just take start off with three little pieces. As you can see what I'm doing right now, it's kind of hard to tell by my fingers. But um, I'm just taking three little pieces and doing a normal French braid. And every time I loop under, I am grabbing a piece of hair as I go under. So as you can see, I'm just grabbing and then tucking over and under with a piece in my hand every single time you want to keep adding new pieces. Now when you're done maneuvering your braid into like the way you want it, you just braid your hair all the way down normally. Now I did the middle um, one which was the focus of the look which is the um, one going straight down like in between your eyebrows the braid. You just want to make sure that you're um, maneuvering your hands in the direction you way you want your braid to go because if you don't do that then your braid will go like crooked and stuff. So you may want to make sure that your head is positioned properly straight back and your arms are just going straight back. It's a little bit uncomfortable but just make sure you're staying in a straight line so they all look even and really really nice. And I did the middle one off camera just to let you guys know because I had to be really, really focused and do it like in an odd way, which I looked bad on camera if I filmed it. Now the last section is already um, sectioned off for you, so all you have to do is keep French braiding, keep um, tucking under and over and adding pieces, and just go all the way back and braid normally all the way down. Now when I'm done with the braids, I like to tie them off with a clear elastic, but I only had white today, but normally I would do little clear small elastics. Now to make sure to preserve your braids and stuff, I like to put a little bit of leave-in conditioner in my hands and rub them throughout my braids just to make them look nice and smooth and silk and not tangle throughout the day. Now, since we're doing a little Beyonce inspired look, I wanted to do the slicked back little baby hairs. I see her do that in a lot of like her um, like looks that she does in her music video, so I wanted to incorporate that. So I really, really like the way the baby hairs um, around your face looked slicked back. So I took some gel and I'm just styling um, the little pieces the way I want them. It's a little bit of trial and error, but I found a really cute way and I really love the way this looks. Now all you have to do is just pull out little hairs from your braids and um, slick them down with some gel. I just feel like this adds a little cute look to it and shapes my face really nice. So babes, this is how the hair came out. I'm really feeling this look, just feeling myself, feeling like my girl Beyonce. Now we're going to go on to the makeup look. So I already moisturized and now I'm applying Smashbox Photo Finish Primer all over my face. And then I am taking Le Mercier Tinted Moisturizer because I wanted to give myself a nice coverage but still look natural. Since my skin has been looking really good lately in her music video, she had flawless skin but it looked effortless so I thought this would be the way to go.
And I just put the product on the back of my hand and um, applying that with a flat foundation brush and light stroke motions all over my face. For highlighting underneath my eyes, I am taking a drugstore concealer, I think it's Maybelline, and just putting it on the high points of my face to give myself a more brighter awake effect. And I'm blending that all into my face with a dampened beauty blender. Now I'm setting all my concealer and liquids with um, Le Mercier Real Sands Face Powder in a big fluffy brush. I love using the Le Mercier um, face powders to set all my concealer my foundation because it's a nice full coverage powder. Now in her video she did not have that um, strong of a contour so I'm mixing these two colors Java and I think it's called Sans um, Bronzer and just kind of hollowing out my cheeks just a tad bit to give me a little bit of illusion of a higher cheekbone but mostly just bronzing my face up because she is very tan. Now I'm going back in with Java to contour my nose. So for her cheeks, she really emphasized the mauve and darker undertones. So I'm using Milani's Powder Blush in the color Romantic Rose and Cabana Boy by The Bomb. And it's just a gorgeous color combination. Using a Stila brush, just dusting that all over my cheeks and my um, cheekbones and like temple areas. This is a close-up of my highlighter. I'm using the Wet n Wild Geometric Highlighting Powder and an Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter Brush. And I'm mixing all these colors and swirling them around. They have like some bronzies, some really, really white shimmers, and some golden neutral tones. And just giving myself a nice highlight because in her video she kept it really natural, but she still emphasized what she had. So I'm just putting in a C formation down the bridge of my nose. Cupid's bow, you guys know the drill. So I'm going back in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contouring Palette and putting the two lightest shades, which is um, one of them is Banana Powder, which has yellow tones, one of them is a pinkier toned, and just putting this all over my lid everywhere so I can have a nice base to work with. Now I'm taking the dark brown shade that I contoured my face with and just hollowing out my crease a little bit with this MAC 217 brush just to define my eye shape a little more because in the video she kind of had um, really, really smoked out, like liner smoked out mauve eyes. So if starting with this as a base is really, really nice just to see um, where you want to stop or like what you want to work with with your eyeshadow. Now to get that mauve look, I'm bringing in Dusty Rose by Anastasia Beverly Hills on the same MAC 217 brush, mostly focusing on um, the middle of my crease and blending it out and dusting it lightly over my lid. With the Too Faced All Matte Natural Eye Palette and a flat Sephora eyeshadow brush, I'm incorporating this reddish maroon coppery tone on the outer crease of my eye. Now with my MAC 217, I'm taking a light brown shade by MAC and it's called Saddle and dusting that all over my crease. So in my depressing Z palette with only one color, I'm taking this MAC dark purpley shimmer color and working that into the center of my crease and dusting that over my lid on the MAC 217 brush. So 
So for the look that she was going for, she was going for a lot of liner. So I am watering my tight line with this charcoal black liner, which also if you do the tight line, which is your um, lashes on top, you get the fuller effect of more lashes. So it looks nice. And also doing my waterline and smoking that all out afterwards. Now I'm taking the same shade, the purple color, and dusting that on my lower lashes to give myself a more smoked out look. Now I'm just going back in with the same liner and just doing a thin line on my top lashes. So I'm approaching my brows with really defining um, the arch because in her video she had a really nice arch and it was kind of a darker shade. So I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Powder Duo in taupe and just um, filling in all the sparse areas but focusing on the eyebrow arch. Now to set these brows on Felique, I'm just taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, putting a nice coat on there, and shaping them. Now for mascara, I'm just taking the Chanel's La Volume Everyday Mascara, which is a crazy to me because it's amazing, and applying a few coats on my top and bottom lashes. Now for B's lips, she did a nice matte, um, mauve dark brown kind of look. So I'm taking, um, it's a lot to know, it's like a mauve brown, just to keep it simple, and it's all matte. So I'm just lining my lips with MAC Spice and not over drying my lips, just doing my normal lip shape. Now I'm taking Max Faux and putting that all over my lips. Now to make this look more matte and um, to incorporate a little bit of brown, I'm taking Bow and Arrow from um, Kat Von D's Everlasting Long Liquid Lipsticks. So this is the final look, babes. I hope this helped you recreate Beyonce's look, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you would like to see more of these celebrity-inspired um, makeup looks. And I love you guys so much, and thank you so much for watching. Mwah, 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 mwah.